good day friends in this lecture we are going to see about the speed control of dc series motors in my earlier lecture you have seen about the speed control of dc shunt motors before going to exact speed control we will see the difference between a shunt motor and a series motor the basic parts of a dc machine is it it has a armature which is represented by a circle with two brushes over here and a field in the case of a shunt motor the armature and the field are connected in parallel as shown here and in the case of a series motor the armature and the field are connected in series as shown here in both the cases the speed can be controlled by changing the supply voltage or by changing the field current or by changing the armature current so in the case of a shunt motor by changing the field current we can change the speed by changing the armature current we can change the speed of the machine in the case of a series motor the armature current as well as the field current are same because these two are connected in series for changing the field current alone in the case of a shunt motor we can introduce the rheostat in the field circuit by varying the value of the rheostat the current through the field can be changed but in this case of a series motor if a rheostat is included in series or here the current through the field will change current in the armature will also change so if we want to change the current through the field of a series motor alone we have some methods so by for changing the speed of the dc machines the two important methods are one is to change the armature current and to change the field current this can be done easily in a shunt motor by just introducing a rheostat in the armature circuit to change the armature current we are introducing a rheostat in the field circuit to change the field current here to change the field current alone without disturbing the armature current there are some methods so if we uh, we know the basic equation for the speed as this the speed is proportional to vacuum of directly and plus inversely we know vacuum of is equal to v minus iara which states v the supply voltage i is the armature current r is the armature resistance pi is the flux in the uh, machine flux in the machine means we mean the field current if we change the field current the flux is going to change so in the case of a series motor also we have two methods one is called as a flux control method or field control method wherein the current only in the field is changed the other method is armature control method where the current through the armature alone is changed to change the field current alone without disturbing the armature current we have four methods one is called the field diverter second one armature diverter tap to field control hurling field coils these four methods change only the field current that is it does not change the armature current the armature current remains the same but by doing some diversion of the field current we can change the flux in the machine so let us see the first method field diverter in this method the flux produced by the series dc motor is varied the variation of flux can be achieved like this this is the field in the field and this is the armature without this diverter the current would be the same in the field as well as the armature now when a diverter is introduced here part of the current would flow through the diverter and then it would come to the armature the net current coming into the armature is going to remain the same but the current in the field here will be reduced because the part of the current flows through the diverter so when the current is reduced in the field the flux would get reduced flux will if the flux is reduced then the speed would increase that is the speed being inversely proportional to the flux the speed would 
increase. So the lowest speed obtained by this method is the normal speed of the motor when the current through the diverter is zero. Uh, that is the diverter. If the diverter is not there, the machine would run with the normal speed. But when the diverter is on, the current through the field is going to reduce, hence the speed is going to increase. In nutshell, in the field control method, whenever the flux inside the machine is reduced, the speed would increase. Or in the case of flux control method, always the speeds of obtainable is higher than the normal speed. So this is a field diverter. When we go in for armature diverter, it is just similar to this. Instead of having a diverter over just parallel to the field, we have a diverter across the armature. This is the armature diverter method. In this case, the flux is not going to change. Only the current through the armature is going to change. So this is the armature diverter method. You can, uh, by di the net current which is flowing through the armature will be decided by the diverter. So if the diverter is having a different resistance, the current through the armature is going to change, which means the field current is also going to change. Here also the field current will get reduced because of this diverter and so the speed would increase. So here also the speed will increase only but the, the armature current is reduced here. In the previous case, the field current was directly reduced. The third method is a tabbed field control wherein we have the number of turns in the series word, uh, series field. So depending on the requirement, the number of turns can be increased or decreased when there is no uh, uh, field uh, turns present here, the machine would run with a normal speed as the number of turns is cut off. The entire field can be connected or they can have only one or two turns connected so that the machine runs with the desired speed. So in the tap tip series field control, depending on the requirement, the flux can be changed. So in this, in all these methods, the main purpose is uh, to main focus is on reducing the field current. So when the field current is reduced, the flux will reduce and so the speed will increase. So in this method, the flux is also reduced, speed is increased by decreasing the number of turns, the series field winding. So the switch here can short circuit any part of the field winding, decrease the flux and raise the speed. With full turns in the field winding, the motor would run at the normal speed. As the field turns are reduced, the speeds higher than the normal speed can be achieved. Another method is called the paralleling of field coils, where uh, another the coils are connected in parallel so that we flux through a particular coil which is connected to the armature. The overall current through the field coils is reduced and so the speed can be increased. So overall the flux control method, four methods we have seen. One is a field diverter, the other one armature diverter, the third one tabbed field control and then the paralleling of field coils. All these methods aim at reducing the current through the field thereby reducing the flux and increasing the speed. The next method is the armature control method where the current through the armature is straight away reduced. This method, we introduce a resistor here that is in series with both the field and the armature. So the total current which is going through armature is reduced. When the current through the armature is reduced, then the speed in the machine will also get Reduce by changing the value of the variable resistance, any speed below the normal speed can be obtained over here. This is the most common method employed to control the speed of a DC series motor. So when when a resistance is included here, what happens is the voltage available across the armature is reduced. So it is uh, when the voltage available across the armature is reduced, the speed falls. So in the armature resistance control method, speeds below the normal speed can be obtained. 
whereas in the case of the flux control method, speeds above the normal speed only is obtained. So in this method, in this lecture, we have seen about two types of speed control, flux control method, as well as the armature control method for series methods. Hope this clarifies the speed control of these series motors. Thank you.